Hi, how are you? One of the main questions regarding the cheese and meats, besides what to buy, is how to present them when you have a gathering at home. Today, here at Buenísima with Daniel Buenos, I will show you how we present a cheese and meat plate. Regarding the cheese, I always make sure to have a sort of three types of cheese, from soft to intense flavor. I will be using a young manchego, a mild brie and an intense blue cheese. I always cut the manchego in slices, you will see later why I do this. Now the meats. I come from a butcher's family and my father always made his own chorizo. I normally have a high quality made in Spain chorizo available for this plate. I have a sweet childhood memory of helping out on the weekends in the butcher shop in order to earn my weekly pocket money. My first apron almost reached my ankles then and I was so happy to be serving. Thank you papa for teaching me. Let's make something buenísimo for our plate. Tomato spread that is not only typical in the beautiful Catalonia but in other amazing Spanish regions too. We we need a medium-sized ripe tomato, a grater, we will use the side with the bigger holes, olive oil and salt to taste. This is so easy to make and so delicious. Cut the tomato in half, place the grater on a tray and rub it against it. Don't use any piece that wasn't grated properly. We won't use the skin either. I'm finishing with the second half of the tomato and look how beautiful and fresh it looks. Okay, transfer it to a container, add two pinches of salt, mix, add a teaspoon of olive oil, mix again. Your spread is ready, keep it in the fridge. There is another way to have tomato spread on a piece of bread and some of you may have seen it at restaurants when you visited Spain. Rub a half of a small ripe tomato on a slice of a good spongy bread. If you notice, it's my easy homemade bread of episode 10 of Buenísimo. Add salt to taste and the olive oil. We are done. Now you can add on top cheese and meats, but also grilled fish or vegetables. Let your imagination flow. Now it's time to set the plate that in this case is a board, a bit of rosemary crackers and of course my bread. On one side I'm placing the tomato spread and on the other side the sweet elements, a fixed spread and grapes, the chorizo and some prosciutto this time instead of serrano ham. I say ciao to all my Italian friends. Place the manchego and lay down some slices so your guests know that it's cut. Now the blue cheese and the brie. The plate is ready to be served. This looks so amazing. This is so buenísimo. Beautiful. Today is such a sunny day. Try any of the cheese on the plate with the thick spread. The taste is glorious. Next, you will know why I pre-cut the manchego cheese. Let's try the tomato. I'm going to try it with a little piece of bread, of course. A bit of cheese, I just got rid of the rind. And chorizo. Let me see. I put on top a little bit. Then the cheese. And one and two pieces of chorizo. Mmm, so juicy. This is buenísimo. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. But also thank you so much for visiting danielbuenos.com and subscribing. See you in the next episode of Buenísimo. Till then, have fun. Hasta luego.